If you didn't know, LEGO produced the LEGO The Lord of the Rings sets and they include a ton of epic minifigures, but they missed a lot of iconic characters. So today, we're taking a look at my top 10 missed characters from The Lord of the Rings and recreate them in LEGO. And at the end of this video, I'm hosting a massive giveaway, so make sure you stick around to the end and let's get into this video. Do you remember the commercial for this theme? Well, it's extremely nostalgic and awesome. In this commercial, there's an army of Moria orcs surrounding the Fellowship of the Ring, and even though the Moria orcs look very good, I think they're missing something. In the movie, you could see many Moria orcs with these creepy looking helmets, which impressed me, and I always wanted to get these for my army. Strangely enough though, LEGO never made these helmets, but they appear in the video game, which looks so good. Luckily, you can now get these helmets from LEGO Raven, but more on him later. Here's the helmet, and it makes the Moria orc look complete, and in army form this also looks astonishing. It has detail on all sides with some tiny eye holes, hair, ears, and a big spike on top. There's also this armor piece which looks superb too. Now let's move on to the next minifigure. Moving on to the next minifigure, you all remember the Easterlings, right? Well, they appeared in the Two Towers and the Return of the King movie, and they looked sick. Even though LEGO has made a Black Gate of Mordor set, they still didn't make an Easterling minifigure, for which an incredible design was in the video game. Nonetheless, you can get this epic Easterling armor with a regular Easterling soldier, an archer, and this captain. LEGO Raven nailed the design for this helmet, and for the figure, I used the legs and body from some Star Wars minifigures. One of my all-time favorite characters from Return of the King is the Witch King of Angmar. He appears in many scenes and is one of the most popular characters from the movies, but LEGO never made him as a minifigure, which I just can't believe. As a kid, I waited and waited, but LEGO never released him. So here he is, just grab a Nazgul minifigure, pop on this armor piece, add this incredible helmet, and voila! There's how to make Witch King of Angmar minifigure, and he's finished. He also comes with this flail, which is pretty big and accurate to the movie. I love that. The helmet looks shockingly good from all angles, and I strongly recommend you pick up this minifigure. Speaking of Minas Tirith, there's also an enormous orc army marching on the city, and LEGO has made a wonderful Mortar Orc minifigure, but they reused the Urk High helmet in the Black Gate set, which is a bit lame to me considering that the orc army has a multitude of different types of armor in the movie. Therefore, I purchased these epic orc armor pieces, which look spectacular on the minifigures. The helmets vary, and there's many armor pieces you will recognize directly from the movie. There's even this iconic orc with the skull on his helmet, which is so cool. Funny enough though, the orcs will have a hard time looking through their helmets, but I don't think it's a massive problem for now. Did you know LEGO made over 20 dwarven minifigures for this theme? They made a minifigure for Gimli, for the entire company of Thor and Oakenshield, and even produced some double minifigures, but LEGO failed to make a regular dwarven soldier? This would have been so epic, but they didn't make it. I mean, with that character, we could make many battles from Middle-earth and also add a sick army to our collections. But no, LEGO never made it. And therefore, we're gonna add this epic armor piece to Keeley with this amazing helmet. And I need to say that this looks extremely good. The dwarf closely resembles the one you can see in the movie, and I would love to build an army of these minifigures. He also comes with a fabulous sword and even a shield. There's a few different designs for the dwarf as well, but I like this one the most. Now that we're talking about dwarves, why not look at their frenemies? LEGO made many elven minifigures and even some soldiers like the ones from Mirkwood, but they never made other elven soldiers. Why didn't they make the elves of Lothlorien at Helm's Deep? And they could have made so many other minifigures, but they didn't. So here's four elven designs I know you'll love, and they look amazing. The Linden Elf has a nice touch of silver to his armor, and here's the Elves of Finarfin. The Elf of Lothlorien looks marvelous, and I genuinely recommend you to pick it up. Aside from the Lord of the Rings, there's the Hobbit trilogy, and I know some people dislike it, but I love it. 
It has many epic battle scenes and one of them must be the Battle of the Five Armies. LEGO made a set for this particular scene, but again, they failed to produce the correct minifigures. The orcs in this movie look menacing, but the ones from LEGO? Not so much. Naturally, we need to make these ourselves, so here's four fully armored orcs bred for war, which look phenomenal. They're very accurate to the movie, and different as well, with some various helmets, and this orc even has some skull on the back. That's so cool. Now that we're looking at the Hobbit, we might as well go to Dogledore, where the heroes must fight against the Nine Wraiths. These Wraiths look extraordinary in the movie, and I always wanted to get them in a LEGO form. But unfortunately, LEGO only produced the regular Ring Wraiths and the Witch King of Angmar in his Wraith form on Weathertop. But other than that, they didn't create these epic armor pieces. So here are all the Wraiths, and some armor pieces are used double in the movie. That's a bit strange, but nonetheless, I really love them. So so here's all the different armor sets and they look insanely good. Each armor piece looks different with some nice details on the torso and a helmet. They also come with different weapons which look brutal. So overall I think the Ring Wraith armor sets look really cool and I recommend you pick them up if you want to. Before we move on to the best minifigure, I want to show you the Haradrim Soldier. This one appeared in both the Two Towers and the Return of the King, and I believe LEGO could have made this minifigure in a Muma Kill set. Many people would have liked something in this direction. I mean, take a look at the success of LEGO Ninjago, that's up to the moon. But taking a look at the minifigure, it closely resembles the design from the movie. The armor piece of the torso has many interesting details on it, and I absolutely love it. There is one character which I didn't show you yet. There can only be one Lord of the Ring and he does not share the first place in this video. One of the weirdest things in the world is that LEGO never made a minifigure for the ultimate bad guy in the movies, Sauron. He looks insanely good in both the movie and the LEGO The Lord of the Rings video game, and therefore would have made a perfect minifigure. And since the last design of LEGO Raven, some things have changed. The helmet of Sauron has received a well-deserved update and looks 99% accurate to the movie, but the set comes with a breastplate, hip armor and even some shoes for Sauron. Now the finished result looks breathtaking and I'm so thankful for the fact that I'm able to hold this minifigure right now. The figure is available in different colors, so if you want a less darker set of armor that's possible, so you can combine it with a dark bluish grey minifigure. Both look incredible, but I prefer the one with the lighter set of armor so just choose your favorite and let me know in the comment section down below and now it's giveaway time so I'm giving away one of these armor sets of Sauron for you to win and all you have to do to enter this giveaway is subscribe to Brickly like this video and leave a comment in the comment section down below and that way I will enter you into the giveaway and I'll announce the winner next week so just go ahead and enter now you might be asking yourself questions like how do I get this epic minifigure set for myself and where do I purchase these pieces? Well, you can purchase them from Ravenblocks on Instagram. He's a very talented designer and I'm honored to work with him. His services are trustworthy and absolutely worth it because you can get these epic designs for a reasonable price. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you want to see a part 2, let me know which characters I missed and I'll try to recreate them in LEGO next time.